So today I have my high voltage ignition coil power supply and I've just changed a few things since last time. I decided to use a 19 and a half volt laptop power adapter instead of the power tool battery. And I have this magnet and this nut stuck to the transistor as a kind of crude heat sink. I can run it continuously with a setup and it won't overheat. As a load I have what some people call a Jacob's ladder. Basically, there's two thin steel wires that are close together at the bottom and slant away from each other as they go up. The arc strikes near the bottom, but it rises because it's hot and buoyant until it gets far enough up to spread out and break. Then the cycle happens over again. Let me see if I can get it to happen here. Might need some persuasion. I'm going to tap with a piece of paper. This one can be a little finicky, it doesn't always want to strike. The arc doesn't always want to get going. It's also... Sometimes it doesn't want to rise. It's got a... Depends on external air temperature and everything else. But this power supply is good for a traveling arc because it has a high enough power and pulse frequency to at least create a little bit of a hot continuous arc. It's not as dangerous as some of the higher current supplies like a microwave transformer or even a neon transformer. So, it was finicky, but I've shown that you can make a Jacob's Ladder with an ignition coil if you have this high-frequency ignition coil driver. Let's see if I can get that running again. Basically, I just need some convection. Just like a flame rising into the air or smoke, it needs to be hot enough that it makes it into the... that it actually rises. If it's just... if the, is the air current going down, or if the wires aren't hot enough, then it's just not going to make a good traveling pattern. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.